Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another episode of our Django tutorial series. So in this video, we'll be talking about management commands. And if you're not sure what management commands are, let's, let's just give you an example. So a uh, well-known management command that you've already used countless times is run server. So when you say python manage.py, and then put a command after this, such as migrate or run server, that's what's known as a management command. And Django allows you to create your own management commands by following a few very simple steps. So let's just jump into it. All right, so we're first going to create a new folder inside of our app directory, and we're gonna call that management. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it management. Now within this management folder, you're gonna need a file we'll call that file in it so underscore underscore i n i t underscore underscore dot p y and you don't need to add anything to this file it just needs to be there then we need to create another folder and we'll call this commands now this commands folder is also within management and then within this commands folder follow that same formula create a new file let's call it in it so underscore underscore INIT underscore underscore dot py. All right. And once those two files have been created, and now we're able to actually jump into the command. So within commands, create a py file. Call it whatever you want. So I'll call mine test command dot py. And the name of this file is the name of the command that you'll be running within your us uh, shell. So if you want to override run server, you'd create a file called run server.py. So my file is called test command.py. Let's jump into it. So we're first going to need to start off with the imports. So we're going to say from Django.core.management.base import base command and command error. All right, now that we have those two imports, let's create the actual command class that will do the work for us. So we're going to say class command, and then we're going to need to extend the base command because this is the command that has all of the necessary things to run with Django that we don't need to that we don't want to create manually. So let's extend base command, and then the file that actually makes all the magic work is called handle. So we're going to say define handle. And we're going to need to pass in a few arguments. So we're going to say self, then asterisk args, and then asterisk asterisk options. All right. And now we're able to just write something to the console. So this command in particular won't do anything very important. We're just going to write a simple message to the console once we've run it. So we can say self.std out dot write and we'll just write hello this is a test command and note this command can do whatever you want so you could rerun the server you could access the models that you've already created you can do whatever but all we're choosing to do in this video is write to the console so let's save it and let's test it out so make sure you're inside of your virtual environment and within your project directory. And then we'll just call python manage.py. And then the name of our file is test command. And we'll run it. And as you can see, it responds, hello, this is a test command. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this has been useful to you, please leave a like. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. This has been Steam Code, and I will see you in the next one.